<sighs> okay. Um, flashing things in the video warning, I suppose. <clears throat> no, spoiler alert, a little bit too late, but... Anyway, <clears throat> fellow nerds, I have what looks like a silver piece of crap. But, if you are a fan of Star Trek, Voyager specifically, you would know this as the Doctor's mobile emitter, and I have just today spray-painted it silver. And it means I taped off everything that's in this lower quarter. And I thought it would be a cool thing to take the tape off. Oh, wow, I look totally red. Yeah, I'm a little schmutzy, because I had... Oh, I don't look schmutzy, it's just the lamp. Anyway, but I'm not going to lower myself down for the lamp. All right. As for the usual questions when they see my cheeks all flush like this, yes, my blood pressure's fine. Yes, I'm fine. I'm breathing, and my heart is fine. Now, let's see how poorly we have done this job. So, get in there, zoom. Focus, you son of a... It's kind of focusing. But, you can see there's some problem there. A little bit of a problem over here. And at that angle, a little bit of a problem up there. But... All in all, not the worst it could possibly be. Now, what's to do next? Let's see. Uh, I may... You, know, you probably see inside that little section there is, um, focus. A little bit of a dot. <clears throat> Unintentional. So, I might fix that before I move on. Um, but the next thing to do is these little sec this little section up here. I uh, I guess I'm going to have to um, thin up some acrylic black in uh, water, and then once I've done that, I will just take a, a toothpick and just drip it on into those holes. And when it dries, it's going to be not so opaque, but it doesn't have to be. It just has to be a little bit darker, and that's it. That's all I have to do. It could be gray, but as opposed to black. Now, that's the goal. That's what I'm looking forward to. Now, that seems like an open and cut, open and shut case there. I may touch up some things that came up with the tape here. Uh, in the gold section, but all in all, it's looking pretty damn badass. Now, I have already been Voyager for Halloween. I was Commander Chakotay, and if I were to mobile emit being the Doctor, I would have to um, be a version, a version of the Doctor. Um, love Robert Picardo, but I'd have to be a version of the doctor that has hair. As you can see, I have hair. True story. Now, so there's that. Um, progress. I am making progress on my um, diorama for uh, the Alice in Wonderland centerpiece uh, for the Halloween brunch. Today I went to the Dollar Tree and I got this, which is a table. I gotta clip one of these legs off and replace that table leg with a stack of teeny tiny books. And it's a lot of trouble for a little tiny detail, but I think it'll be well worth it. I got the teeny tiny books all written. <laughs> oh else is going on here. I... I think that was probably it. I, I, don't, I don't remember if I wanted to do anything else with this video. <clears throat> um, 
But I am, um, because I went to the Dollar Tree, I got some contact paper that <clears throat> is supposed to be removable. But what I'm doing with it is I lined the back of these cubbies with it. And I'm hopefully... Oh, sorry. Hopefully I will be... Uh, keeping it cleaner. I'm such a clutter bug. You probably saw the mess on top. It's a mess. And <clears throat> I have to deal with that. Because my priorities are Halloween and keeping in the back of my mind a murder mystery uh, for early, not early, mid to late January. And so long as I keep myself laser focused on those things, then I don't have to worry about every other thing, little tiny project that wants my attention, i.e. mobile emitters. I don't even need a mobile emitter, I just wanted one for my shadow box. A shadow box in progress, in storage, in another house. What is wrong with me? Anyway, but I'm going to leave that one there this one short and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.